Um, sorry, I completely forgot to, to put that in way back with the boxes, but anyway, um, now you know it's easy. Um, if you had a grasp of After Effects, you probably would have known this anyway. Um, but now that I did it again, it, okay, it didn't reset it. I thought it would. Um, when you first attach your object, actually, let me uh, let me remove this and drop it back in just to show you, because I, I really want to show you guys what it'll do. Okay, so drop it in. And we're just going to move Sam in. And that's right, I, I got to readjust him. I got to rescale him in. So, scale him in so he's normal sized. And click S, scale him down. So, that's, that's, that's a good size. Okay, and let's see here. We're going to click on that, click position. And we're going to Alt click the. Um, position stopwatch, take the pick whip, pick whip position, and there you go. And he moves up and attaches himself to the null object. Now the thing is, uh, selecting Sam and trying to bring him down, it's not going to happen because um, the position data is already locked into the null data, which is locked into the tracking data. So you're not going to be able to move him. Um, the only way to get, a, get around this is you've got to move him by the anchor point, which you select uh, your object, click A for the anchor point, and you just uh, adjust the X and Y value. So we'll use Y to bring him down a little bit lower. And we'll use uh, X to move him over. And I'll say maybe maybe right there. That looks good. I'll just move him around. Yeah, that'll work. And is there enough for you? Just got to make sure that he's in long enough to go to that. Nope, not not quite in long enough. So let's move him over. And he's still not in there long enough. There we go. Okay, hopefully. Yep, he's in for the beginning. Okay. Hmm. So he's moving around and stuff. Now, one of the other things you want to take in consideration is um, looking at uh, my background here. Sam is nice and clean because it was shot, shot on digital footage, even though it's been like manipulated so many times before it before it hit my computer. Um, it's it's still really clean, and the background of my film is is pretty grainy. So we're gonna do some effects um, just to dirty up Sam a little bit. So. Um, go to the effects controls, uh, right click, and we're going to go to um, a color correction and hit hue and saturation. And we're just going to take the master hue. Oh God, perfect with our with our martial arts film, master hue. Um, and we're just going to bring it down and try and give him yeah, a little bit more of a, of a yellowish look. That's going a little green. That's a little magenta. Let's bring this. Lightness. Oh, that's lightness. Bring that. Yeah, because the blacks look really black. So um, let's bring up the lightness a little bit. That's a little better. And get some a little bit more yellow in them. Yeah, that's that's pretty close. Okay, and let's uh, go to uh, a noise and grain. And there's a few types of noise in here. I'll just choose regular regular um, noise. Um, there's other types of, of uh, noise in here which simulate uh, film and camera noise. And I click noise and I'm just going to bring the noise up just a tad bit. A little bit more than a tad bit. Yeah, probably... That looks good, 17. And we're going to go again to blur and sharpen and uh, fast blur. And we're going to bring it up to a I think maybe two, just to blur them out a little bit, and you get that really kind of pixely uh, mosaic color noise thingy in them, which very, very, very actually, I'm very happy that it actually uh, um, matches the the film pretty close. Um, so if we move back, it's let's try it. Let's bring the blurriness up to three. That looks pretty good, and it looks all right. Oh, blacks match. The colors are pretty good. Um, 
The only problem is we got the light because you see light on both sides of, of our hero's face and then the shadow going down the middle. Well, Sam doesn't have anything, so. But if you really want to go into Photoshop and fix it, or you could fix it here, but um, not now. I don't have enough time. Um, so the next thing you want to do is um, actually after you have them all set up, and uh, the last thing you need to do is create masks and uh, animate the masks. So what I'm going to do, let's close these up here, and let's lock them. And I'm going to uh, the main layer, the main layer that has the animation on, and I'm going to Control D, duplicate. And what I want to do now is actually let me. Um, I'm going to use a mask first off and I'm going to m just basically mask out the area uh, in which Sam is going to be in. So it's probably about right there. Let's go up to my masking tool. Just mask out the area on our um, <coughs> duplicated layer. And so now we can just turn off the main layer and now we have the area we only have to worry about this area here. As a matter of fact, we can probably just bring down the uh, uh, top of the mask because not much of that's going to be used. And we can bring up uh, the bottom of the mask because not much of that's going to be used. And bring up pretty far. There we go. And just to make sure he's not going to be bouncing around too much. All right. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn um, my main layer on again, but I'm going to lock it. It just I need to, I need to see everything. Okay. I'm going to turn off uh, Sam, and so now we know what we got to do. We got to cut out um, this piece of bamboo here and this guy here. Um, I'm going to want to put Sam behind this guy here who's screaming because he's just got sliced. So first thing, the easy thing, we're going to cut out that bam piece of bamboo. Um, so I'm going to use the pen tool and let's see here. 